Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bedinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I have one of my tips and tricks videos for you and this is a very fast video but it's a remarkable find. One of my lovely customers, a lady by the name of Sharon Peck who lives in Orlando, Florida sent me an email um, yesterday afternoon and she had a piece of cardstock that was badly damaged. It arrived damaged. And um, so I have a piece here that I rolled over by accident <laughs> in my chair. And it's got, you can see some creases. And ordinarily, I'd cut a piece of that out for scrap and I'd toss this or toss the whole thing. And Sharon wrote to me and said that she just on a fluke tried using the Settles embossing folder and to see if it would make a difference on the cardstock. And so she put her cardstock into the Settles embossing folder. And as you know, this has, I'll bring this up so you can see it, just a very, very subtle, of course, that's the name, texture to it that gives kind of a linen look to your paper. So I've been messing around with this a little bit today, and I tried this, and it is astonishing. So I thought I would share that with you. I wrote Sharon and told her that I was going to use that for my Sunday tip, because other things that I had planned, uh, this, this was, I thought, more useful, because it saves work. And so I'm just going to take it here. I normally don't even bring out my big shot, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this uh, folder here. Oops, let me get that put back in my my big shot the right way, doing it at an angle so there's no telling. Okay, so there we go. And so I've just got my platform, my embossing folder because it's one of the dynamic or the new name for these going forward will be 3D. And then I've got my top plate. And I'm going to run that through and then I'm going to run it back through again, just so that it's easy to take out on this side. And I'm going to take my embossing folder out here and put my big shot aside. Okay, so here's the big reveal. We'll see what happens here. But look at that piece of uh, cardstock. There is ever so slight a dip where that very large crease was and I just know can you see the crease probably you can't I can see it just a tiny bit because this crease was so big that it actually um, affected the grain on the paper but I will tell you that that piece and I'm just going to take a card front here this is a piece of mango melody and I'm just going to take a card front here and I'm going to glue this piece down on this card front. And she said it was remarkable. She was thinking about sending it back to um, Stampin' Up! to get a refund uh, or get the, the package of paper replaced. And then she decided to try this and she went ahead and used all of her pieces and didn't have to send the piece back. So I'm going to layer that on the front of my card base here. And I'm here to tell you that that would not in any way um, be noticeable to anybody that didn't know. I think that is amazing. So if you've got a little crease or a little bump uh, on a piece of cardstock, running it through the em Subtle's embossing folder will bring it back to near perfect status for you and that's absolutely usable on a card. Um, for this card you would have some other things to put on the face of it here and uh, I wouldn't, if, if I didn't know that crease was there, I wouldn't have guessed. So um, just a quick tip today using the Subtles embossing folder and my guess is any embossing folder that had a pattern that covered you know, the whole page would probably do the same thing. Um, and so there's a there's a thought for us for paper that ordinarily would just go in the bin or be reduced to just a piece of scrap. 
and here's a card front um, that comes out of it. So that's it for me today. A quick tip. Thank you, Sharon. Um, uh, and I appreciate hearing that from you. And I appreciate hearing from any of you that have a, a tip for me that I'd be happy to put out on my tips and tricks videos. And if I do, I'll send you a, a little gift for giving me the tip and allowing me to put it on my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. Um, I do so appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!